Hello everyone, before to begin the story of today, I want you to bring your coffee or your tea and let's go. Everyone knows Game of Thrones the famous series, which was taken from the novel Game of Thrones by the writer George Martin. The idea of the series revolves around five kingdoms and the struggles between them to take complete control of the throne. During this conflict, the five kingdoms, which are preoccupied with their internal war, are engaged in a major external war that threatens their survival. The novel is set in two fictional continents, Westeros and Essos, and over three main divisions. The War of the Noble Families of Westeros, the threats from the Northern Frontier or the White Walkers, and the issues of the House Targaryen and especially with the Mother of Dragons. But many who watch this series do not know that George Martin was inspired from the Wars of the Roses, which took place over three decades about the entitlement to the throne of England among two families, the Lancasters and the Yorks. On this video, we will show you the events of the Wars of the Roses that took place in England and inspired the Seri Game of Thrones. The War of the Roses is a civil war that took place over three decades, that is 30 years between 1455 and 1485, around the eligibility of the throne in England between two rival of the Royal House of Plantagenet. Lancaster and York. Their symbol was the two different roses in white and red. The first one who gave the name of this war the Wars of the Roses is William Shakespeare in his play. It was called the Wars of the Roses, as the red rose was the symbol of the Lancaster house and the white rose symbolized the York house. The beginning of this conflict appeared in 1399 when Henry Bowling broke established the House of Lancaster to remain in power and removed his cousin King Richard III and crowned himself to be King of England nicknamed Henry IV and after his death his son Henry V preserved the throne when he was crowned King at a young age. The House of Lancaster descended from John of Gaunt the third surviving son of Edward III, and when Henry VI succeeded King Henry V. The third Duke of York, Richard of York, challenged the royal crown of Henry VI for his entitlement to be King of England. Just to know that the two houses descended from the same King Edward III and Edmund of Langley of House York is the youngest brother of John of Gaunt of House Lancaster. The conflict began between the two houses in the form of a Cold War, although there were battles in the past between the two families. So the wars began in 1455 when Richard of York captured Henry at the First Battle of St. Albans and was appointed Lord Protector by Parliament, leading to an uneasy peace. Four years later, fighting resumed with the Yorkists, led by Richard Neville, 16th Earl of Warwick, nicknamed the Kingmaker, who captured Henry again at the Battle of Northampton. Richard of York attempted to claim the throne, but was dissuaded and was killed at the Battle of Wakefield. His son Edward IV inherited his claim. The Yorkists lost custody of Henry after the Second Battle of St. Albans, but destroyed the Lancastrian army at the Battle of Toton. After this battle, Edward was formally crowned three months later in June 1461. But with the resistance of the Lancasters to Edward's rule continued and he was crushed at the Battle of Higgs in 1464, which gave birth to a period of relative peace. In the same year and after the failure of the revolts of the Lancaster family in the north of the country, King Henry VI was captured for the second time, but a dispute arose between Edward IV and his supporters and his advisor, the Kingmaker, so they decided to revoke King Edward IV and return the throne to King Henry VI. But King Edward defeated him in the Battle of Burnet, 
which led to the killing of Warwick the Kingmaker in 1471, and in May of the same year, the Battle of Tewkesbury took place in which the commander of the Lancaster army was executed and King Henry VI was killed after he was captured in the Tower of London, and with his death the rule of the Lancaster family ended to take the throne and succession. Then peace prevailed for a period of time, and in 1483 King Edward IV died, and his son Edward V took the throne when he was not more than 12 years old. After a period of time, a relative of the Lancastrian family named Henry Uder, son of Henry VI's half-brother, returned from exile with an army of English, French, and Breton troops and ignited the war again in 1485. So the Battle of Bosworth took place between Henry Uder and King Richard III, and the result of this battle was the killing of the last King of York, King Richard and the installation of Henry Uter to rule in England and title himself King Henry VII, and he put an end to the Wars of the Roses by marrying Edward's daughter Elizabeth of York, the older sister of the two little princes of the Tower who had mysteriously disappeared in the Tower of London. The House of Uter ruled England until 1603. The reign of the Tudor dynasty saw the strengthening of the prestige and power of the English monarchy, particularly under Henry VIII and Elizabeth I, and the end of the medieval period in England which subsequently saw the dawn of the English Renaissance. This full story of the Wars of the Roses was the true story of Game of Thrones. Please don't forget to subscribe to see more stories and more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.